all right the server mod is done let's see everything that is new with this minor update first off they end up giving us three legendary crests for the server mod with few gems and then if we go to the inventory click on the cosmetic we have the cosmetic collection tab now so there are a few things we can check out here like the armors you will able to see every single armor available for your class either that was time limited and now not available anymore for example if i go down there is a cosmetic here from the phantom and some exclusive shop cosmetic as well um, uh, let me see if i can find that there we go this was an exclusive halloween cosmetic i did not purchase it back then but i can still check it out so this is cool we can do the same with the weapons every single weapon will be shown for your class and then you can go check out the portals and then the ultimate weapon effects you can go check out these as well but uh, keep in mind all these weapon effects comes with the phantom market cosmetic only and then if we click here in the mid it shows us the badges that unlocks after purchasing the battle pass i believe so each of these badges are from buying the uh, battle pass itself and i am missing few of these here not sure why is that but now we can go uh, equip these not sure where these will be shown all right they are shown in the mid here and uh, this is the cosmetic collection tab and uh, of course the server much is done so if we go check out the market so far not looking like it is going to get any better if we go check out the tourmaline seam a bunch of more rubies now citrines are about 200 and 200 same for the topaz and maybe the prices will go down and sapphire and aquamarine uh oh wow okay so we have a bunch of aquamarine here blue gems so prices of these will draw up uh, quite fast uh, uh, in a couple of hours wow okay wasn't expecting it uh, but there we go that is what we have other than that it seems like they have also changed the way mini map looks now that is somewhat i like and uh, i'm not sure but they have also changed the logo for the inferno difficulty i could be wrong but uh, it seems like new and of course they have extended the time for the battleground now uh, it opens on 6 p.m till midnight and uh, if we go to the battleground if you are in a gold tier or a legend tier you will not go back to the previous tier for example if i lose five six games still i'm not going to go to the silver tier i will stay in gold and other than that of course they have made the urban castle and the abyssal watch drop rate for runes much better that is something i will be trying out later but this was a quick look if i go check out the leaderboard here uh, let's see who do we have here i'm at the top seven currently and uh, uh, let's see who do we have i'll let you guys quickly see the top 10 we have some big names of course and uh, demon hunters tempest is something we will have to see top 20 top 30 and uh, necrovensus seeing some uh, big names here there we go blood knight and tempest let's see who we have here in the Tempest will let you guys see some uh, top 30. And that would be all, guys. I'm signing off now. See you all later with something else. You guys have a great day.